In this video I'm going to show you how to use a black and white action spec. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use these uh, three photos here uh, as an example for a demonstration of the actions. So uh, before you use any of those actions, uh, there are a couple of things that you should check. So the first thing would be to go to the image uh, mode and just make sure your photo is in the RGB color mode 8-bit kennel and then go to the image size and uh, just make sure your photo is at least uh, 1500 pixels uh, wide or high. Alright, so to load the actions, just go to Window, uh, Actions, click on this menu icon, Load Actions, and just choose the action that can be downloaded. Okay, the folder will appear in your uh, Actions panel, and when you open the folder, you found all the actions here, alright? So first I'm just going to demonstrate you, uh, just going to quickly go through out all these uh, actions here. Alright, first of all to uh, explain you a few things. So here you get a, a base actions, alright. Uh, you get the adjustments actions and you got the preset combinations actions. Alright, so you should always, uh, you always need to use a first some of these actions, alright. So you just choose one of these from the base actions and then you can uh, 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 play any of those uh, adjustments actions and uh, uh, it, it doesn't matter in uh, which order you're going to play these actions but sometimes uh, some combinations are, are for example it's not the same when you first play the fade black action uh, and then boost black or first to play the boost black and then fade black action alright so just gonna quickly show you that so just gonna play one of the base actions so if you just play the fade black action first, to fade all the blacks, and when you then play the boost black, it will boost those blacks. So you actually make no changes. But if you just uh, drag this layer uh, under this one here, like I have firstly played boost black and then uh, fade black, you'll see the difference, all right? So uh, if you first play the boost black, you'll boost all the black colors here, and then if you play the fade black, you're just gonna fade them, right? So uh, sometimes it's not the same in which order you're going to play them, okay? But you can play them in order in any order that you like. So you can play add contrast, then you can play the boost, the fine sharp, so in, order in any order that you like. Just keep in mind that some combinations are not giving the same results if played in different order, right? And you can also what you can also do is to play some action uh, several times. For example, you play the fine sharpening. You when you wish to add a more sharpening, and the opacity is to 100, but you wish more sharpening, you can just play it again. Alright, uh, preset combinations are actually combinations of these actions, alright, so for example you got the fade black and uh, plus boost black, so this is the combination of uh, these two effects, alright, and it's the same with these others, alright, this one here are combining uh, three of these actions, so you got a fade black and white, you got the boost black and white, and you got a fine sharpening, alright. So let's just quickly go through all these actions so you can uh, check them out. So here's the default black and white, all right? The blue filter black and white, uh, darker black and white. We got a green filter, high contrast blue filter, a high contrast red filter, the infrared. Lighter. Here we got the maximum black, the maximum white, neutral density, red filter, yellow filter, and now we got here these except uh, black and white actions. So what this actually here does is that this one will uh, create black. We will turn uh, your photo to the black and white. Uh, leaving the red colors, uh, it will not turn the red colors into the black and white. It's the same with those others, right? So here, there are some of the reds, so you can see it will stay untouched. Okay, so this one will keep the yellow, as you can see, all right. This one is going to keep the green, the cyan, and it's going to keep the uh, blue, and this one is going to keep the magentas. 
All right, and we got these two auto tone black and white and the auto tone contrast black and white. So this one will add uh, automatically adjust the tone of your photo and turn it into the black and white. And this one is going to automatically adjust the contrast and turn your photo into black and white. All right. So you can choose any of those actions. So uh, before you use any of these here, you, should, you need to first use uh, one at least of these uh, of these base actions. So depending on the effect, you can just choose any that you like. So I'm just gonna choose this one here now for demonstration. So uh, now uh, after you have chosen one of these base actions, you can choose some of the adjustments or preset combinations. So we're just gonna go from here. Uh, for example, you can, you can add your contrast. And uh, you can change. This is the you can change the uh, amount of contrast here by just click on the word opacity and drag it aside. All right, to change the amount of contrast. And um, this is giving uh, a little bit uh, different higher contrast. All right, you can also adjust it using this opacity. Uh, this is the fine sharpening. Right, so it's, it actually sharpens all the, the small details, and you're controlling the sharpening by changing the opacity here. And this is the hard sharpening. So th this is uh, is going to sharpen a, a larger details, and you can also use both of these uh, sharpening uh, if you like. And you also change the sharpening by by just changing the opacity here. All right. Uh, here we got a fade black. And if you wish to adjust this, you can just double click uh, in uh, here and you can just play with these uh, values here. Or you can simply also change uh, the opacity. Alright. So here we got the fade white. And you can also, in the same way, you can play with these uh, settings here or just change the opacities. Alright. And. Uh, here we got a fade black and white. So this one will fade uh, both uh, black and white uh, in your photo. So you can also play or with the opacity or with the settings here. Uh, here we have the reveal details. So as you can see, uh, this is going to reveal uh, uh, most of the details in your photo. Uh, and you can also just e adjust the opacity depending on how much details you wish to uh, reveal, right? And uh, here we got a boost black. You can also uh, change the settings of this pointer here, so you can just move it around, or you can also play uh, with the opacity. And uh, here we got the boost white. So in the uh, this layer we customize by moving this pointer or the opacity and this one here will boost both uh, black and white All right. so you can move these pointers or the change the opacity uh, so here we got the preset combinations so I'm just gonna play this one here so as you can see this one will uh, boost the black and then uh, fade it uh, you can play with the settings here or change the opacity. All right. Uh, this one we're going to fade white, and uh, it's going to boost and uh, fade white. I can check the highlights here. Uh, this one we're going to fade both black and white, and boost black and white. All right. So you can then. Uh, adjust how much you wish the th these two pointers are fading all right this one is fading the black this one is fading the white and this one here are boosting the white and this is boosting the black here we got the contrast plus fine sharpening so you can change the opacity of the contrast here as I have shown you uh, when I was playing these uh, adjustment actions, and so this, uh, you can also change the uh, sharpening by uh, changing the opacity, right? As I shown you before, 
And uh, one thing here uh, is that, for, for example, play this action, and you see this action uh, will uh, have more than one layer, so it's put into the folder. If you leave this folder open and play another action, uh, that new layer, for example, this one, is going to go inside the folder, right? So if you wish to keep it on the top, then always just close these uh, folders. Auto uh, they will be out closed out playing the action, but if you open them for make some customization, you just uh, you can just close them, and then when you play another action, it will be placed on the top, right? So here we got the contrast and the harsh sharpening. Uh, the high contrast and the fine sharpening. Alright, so you customize all of these by changing the uh, opacities. Uh, here we got a fade black uh, plus contrast. So you got a contrast here that you customize by opacity and a fade black that you just customize by moving this pointer here. So we got a fade black and a high contrast, uh, fade black and a fine sharpening. All right, so you got a sharpening here at the top. You can uh, change its opacity, and again, a fade black that you customize by moving the those uh, pointers here. Uh, here we got a fade black and a hard sharpening. And now we got all of these, uh, but with a fade white instead of fading black. Alright, and uh, now what we are here are these combinations of the three actions uh, from the adjustments. So uh, this one is a fade black and white, boost black and white, and do a fine sharpening. So uh, this one here, let me just expand the panel here. This one is a fading and boosting of both black and white. And this is the sharpening. So you can make then additional changes here or just the sharpening by the changing the opacity, right? And this one is uh, a, a similar combination, just doing the hard sharpening instead of the fine sharpening. And this one is uh, going to fade uh, and boost black and white, and there's gonna add some contrast, all right? And this is going to uh, also fade and boost black and white with adding the high contrast, all right? So now I'm just going to create some nice black and white effects from these three examples that I got here. So I'm just going to play this up. I'm just going to play default black and white. And uh, then just going to choose some from here. I'm just going to choose fade black plus uh, boost black. I'm going to leave all the settings as default. And uh, just going to add some fine sharpening. All right. So I just quickly check the before and after. This is the before, this is the after. In just a couple of seconds, you can get these uh, amazing black and white uh, photographies. All right, let's just go to the uh, next example. So here, I'm just gonna play these uh, except magentas black and white. So it will leave these magentas colors in a color and turn all other colors into the black and white. All right. And uh, just gonna play. I'm gonna play again. Uh, this one here, fade black and boost black. I'm just gonna leave uh, default settings and just gonna add a little bit of contrast. All right, just gonna increase the opacity a little bit, something like this. Let's just quickly check the before and after. So this is the before, and this is the after. Alright, so, and the uh, last example, uh, just gonna play default black and white here, and uh, I'm just gonna play this one here, uh, fade black and white, and boost black and white. Alright, uh, just gonna leave the default settings, and just gonna add now the uh, Hard sharpening. All right. Just gonna drop the opacity a little bit. 
to adjust the sharpening something like this and uh, just gonna play uh, boost white action to boost the whites a little bit alright maybe drop the opacity a little bit something like this alright just let us quickly uh, check the before and after so this is the before and here we got the after so as you can see you can create a lot of different types of black and white effects so feel free to experiment with the uh, combinations here right so I hope you understood everything and uh, thanks for watching